Welcome everybody to another War Thunder video. My name is Ozus Maxwell and today I thought I'd fly out in the American planes again because I've been having a bit of success with these guys. Uh, doing, having some fairly good games, so I thought I'd show you one of them. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed though that I uh, recently ranked up to rank 3. I know, right? I'm slacking. But <laughs> recently ranked up to rank 3 and I was a bit disappointed that all you get was a couple of bombers. Uh, I think they were the a pair of Catalinas. Probably very, very good planes and probably very good bombers, but I'm not a bomber. You may have noticed I am a fighter pilot. I prefer to dogfight. I like to dogfight and I like to think I'm fairly above average, I would say. I wouldn't say great, I wouldn't say bad. I'm probably an above average dogfighter, you know. I probably should give bombing a try, actually. Just talked myself into it somehow when trying to justify the fact that I don't use bombers. So anyway, back to the game at hand. Uh, I'm heading off to the right hand flank, which is what I like to do straight away. I don't like to get involved in the calamity in the centre of the map. I like to fly off to the right or the left hand flank and cover someone off. So I can see that our, S our SBD is getting chased by a buffalo and almost getting chased by a hurricane now, although it looks like that hurricane's just passed over the top of him. Can't seem to select him, so I'm going to round and try and fall in behind this hurricane before he does too much damage to our ground targets. It looks like he's not really focusing on anybody in the air. It looks like he's just tunneled vision towards these ground targets. So I should be able to get behind them and get a couple of shots on him before he realises that I'm here. Thing is though, I'm going horrendously fast compared to him, so I'm almost certainly going to overshoot him with my first volley, so I'm going to have to be careful of that. Right, let's go. Let's see if we can get him. Got a hit. No significant damage. Somehow. <laughs> Even though it looked like I shot through his wing there. Never mind. Gonna pull around behind him. And I should. He's going pretty damn slow. We'll lose some speed. And there we go. Got a critical on his tail. And managed to put him down right when he was going for the ground target. So he was so tunnel visioned on the ground targets there. That he just allowed me to take him out. Without even caring. What's that? A HE 111. He's on fire and it looks like that P40's all over it, so we'll just leave him to that kill and we'll get back into the... Oh, he's pulling off now. Oh, well, it still looks like the HE-111's going down. Uh, I'll have a fly around and see if I can get onto him. Nope, he's going away far too quickly. Uh, don't really want to spend ages chasing him off the edge of the map, so we'll go for this Beaufort instead before he manages to get too much bombing done on our guys. Damn it. Not quite able to get a hit on him there. A little bit unfortunate as he presented himself a large flat target. Uh, should have been able to get a shot right through his cockpit there. Or at least take out his wings. But not quite. So it looks like he's probably reloading his bombs now as he's trying to get away. If he flies behind this mountain I'll be a bit screwed. But it looks like he's deciding to pull straight up in the air for some reason. Which all that's going to achieve is he's going to lose all of his speed. So we'll just, we'll head up, we'll fall in behind him, and we'll see if we can take him out. Sounds like somebody crashed there, so it looks like his manoeuvres at least achieved something. My word, this guy's taken a hell of a lot of damage. Oh, Spitfire coming in, and the BB-1, got to be careful. Right, this guy is getting low and getting fast, so I've got to be, oh, there we go. Managed to take him out. Damaged his rudder and then blew him the bit. So let's get back around and see if we can get on this Spitfire or the BB-1. No. There's a PBE. Presented itself right here. He's already on fire. So I'm going to get in there and see if I can get a good hit on him. Oh, he's going slow. So I'm going to have to slow right down and lose some thrust. Come on. I've only got 100 shots left. Is he going in for a landing? Oh, critical. He is. I'm not letting him get away with this. Come on. Yes. Took him out. With four shots left, I think that was. Uh, so let's reload and head back in and see if we can take out this Spitfire. Oh no, someone's got him. Okay. So I don't really want to fight over the enemy. Is he dead? Yeah, he is. I don't really want to fight too much over the enemy's ground targets, so I'm going to pull out of there. The game's pretty even so far, so it's anybody's game at the moment. Guns are reloaded. So it's time to spin myself around and see if we can pick off a target try and fall in behind that Spitfire, but there's that MC202 there. I don't really want to fall in behind someone and leave myself open for a tail. 
It looks like that Spitfire's broken off now. Or is he coming back? Ooh, who's this? Left 2 a uh, Do I really... Well, I don't really want to... Well, do I? I? No, I think I do. I don't want to fall and be on the ground there. I don't really want to jump down there as that would leave the Spitfire... Oh. He's disconnected. That's weird. Okay. So I didn't really want to fall in here because the Spitfire and the 202 could have could have tailed me. But if I can come in behind this 202 instead, it doesn't look like there's anybody else available to come in as a tail for me. So I should be able to pick up this 202. Oh, got a hit on him. And here he goes with his evasive manoeuvres. Oh, another hit. Oh, wow. He's uh, doing a good job of evading, but he's going so slow. So he's lost all of his speed now, so I should be able to get a good hit on him, fingers crossed, although he's still dodging. Got a good hit on him there. Uh, put some thrust back on and see if we can get behind him. He's, uh, he's barrel rolling for all his life, for all his worth. He's not doing him any good though, because I'm still picking up the hits, but I'm not getting anything critical. And he's slowing down again. I don't know what this guy's thinking probably thinking that I'm not going to be able to hit him and uh, well that's not true I can't hit him but I can't seem to get any kind of critical damage on him uh, looks like he's picked up looks like one of our friends has picked up the tail as well so I'm going to try come on I just need one good critical oh, he's going too slow but I don't want to lose too much speed as there are too many enemies around come on I just need one good critical hit or for him to crash. And here he goes, he's climbing again. And losing all of his speed. But he's managed to come in behind the ally who was tailing him. But oh good! Good critical hit. But nope, not quite able to get him. And oh shit! He's ended up behind me now. Gonna have to pull around. Come on, survive. Ah, and we pick up the victory somehow. Oh, and I get the bulletproof achievement. So, that was me in my F2A Buffalo. Picking up three kills. Not fantastic, but I got the highest score out of anybody on either team there. So, I'm going to claim a moral victory on that one. So, that was me playing the Americans. Not a fantastic game, but I did die. And I think I acquitted myself fairly well. So, don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you'd like me to fly next. And thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.